everyone gets it. You know, that, wow, you're in a great niche. And I'm like, you know, 15 years ago, I said I was in student housing, and people said, oh, animal house. So and it's really, so I, 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 all of, that's a result of all of us stepping up the bar and, and doing the right thing. So I, I continue to think that, you know, we shouldn't take it for granted, the responsibility we have about the relationships with the universities and you know people's children. I think that you know as we do that, it just raises the bar for all of us. But I really think we're all in the university real estate business. How do we help the universities solve their needs? And that's really what we've been focusing on. Have we reached a point where we're just going to go up or flat, or is there a possibility that we can go down again? You know, my personal belief is we're not going to go down um, for a variety of reasons. One, on the demand side. As you've seen, uh, the, the, the economics or the projections out there is that uh, college age enrollment is going to go up 1.5% a year through 2016. So where does that leave multifamily and more particularly student housing? It is in this environment that student housing, the ultimate defensive investment and growth investment, is shining. Our demand generators are sounder than ever. Students are pursuing college educations, graduate degrees in record numbers. And those who house these students will be rewarded. I think we've got a ways to go before the industry overall gets back to the average pricing that we were at. The student housing sector actually took longer to respond to the economic downturn than the rest of the market did. From a student and parent's perspective, if they go to school, whether it's Illinois State University, whatever university, wherever they live, they associate that with the college experience. The broken window theory is if you have a broken window, people are more likely to throw rocks to break more windows. Um, so make sure the, the maintenance is kept up on the property. It will help keep crime off the property. So the real question mark is, is student housing poised for improvement? I think the real question is, is we had a difficult 2009. 2009 was a time of uncertainty. And what happens in an investment arena when there's uncertainty? Um, transactional velocity comes to a screeching halt. But it is clear, without fail, that the fourth quarter and the first half of 2011 will be powerful. I will tell you firsthand, operational understanding of the management of a student housing deal with bed basis and trying to turn units on a short period of time and trying to be sensitive to not only the 900 kids that live there, but the mother and fathers of them that live there as well. You know, it's tough having 2,700 tenants. I perceive that the 2011 to 2015 time frame may be some of the best wealth growth in the United States in multifamily, specifically in student housing. The reality is you can have the best tanning bed, you can have the best gym, you can have the best pool. If your internet sucks, people are not going to live at your property. Don't let third parties decide it for you, especially, and I mean especially, the local cable companies. Many student housing properties have a historical relationship with a cable company, or a Comcast, or a Time Warner, or one of these guys. And they're completely locked in. It's very, very hard to change. You do not want to let those people decide your occupancy. I uh, hope to see all of you in Phoenix in next October, 3rd and 4th. Thank you very much.